For hole one, we didn't change much. We're still gonna use a full backspin with five right spin. You can use a centurion to cut down the wind if you so choose. We're going to set up at the fourth light grid to the right with your yellow ring touching the fringe in the back. Now to set up for a great rife proof shot, when you're in that light grid, you're going to be about a third of a square in from the right side. So here I'm setting up pretty much on the line itself. You can actually go in further to the left of that grid, just a little bit of a hair to go and make it basically great right proof. You're going to over adjust your shot at max distance with a plus 20% elevation. For hole two, we are doing the same setup. You're gonna be using three top spin with one less spin if you are using a Thor's hammer. We are trying to get a consistent yardage. What we did change, instead of going at max 15% elevation, we are doing a plus 20% elevation, which are in the notes, but we were going plus 15 um, just to check it out in qualifying, and um, we do not like the plus 15. I have gone into the rough using that. So from here on out, we are doing max distance with a 20% over adjustment, three bars of top spin with one left spin. Since we know at 349, our thorn played at 30% slider, I used 28% slider here. I did use some backspin, but be careful of your backspin because I have stopped short of the hole. Make sure your ball guide is actually going just short of the hole and kind of going through the hole because you can go short. So here at, three, at 350, I played at 28% slider with a minus 5% elevation. For hole three, we're playing it a tad different. Jesse um, found this shot. Todd uh, basically reached out to him from Bushwhackers and showed him the shot. We're gonna go three bars of top spin with one left spin, and we're gonna aim down the center of the fairway. You're going to over adjust your shot with a 10% over adjustment. What we're looking for is a yardage below 340. Between 337 and 340 is actually ideal. Here, we're gonna use our kata, and then we're gonna do full left spin, and I shouldn't, and basically no um, top spin. I shouldn't have used top spin here. Um, so basically, if you are below 340, do not use top spin. If you are above 340, you want to use a smidgen of back spin, full left spin, uh, over adjust your shot with a 0% elevation, so it's basically max this di distance at 0%, and then you're just going to hit a regular shot. What we're looking for is basically a 10% grizzly shot, like a 10% uh, slider. So here you're going to start off with one and a half backspin and two and a half left spin. Start at minimum distance and then for every ring that you go up it's going to be basically one percent of your slider so here i could keep uh, going up until i find the funnel once i find the funnel then i have my percent so here i did play i believe at eight percent slider because this was my first time doing the shot so i was kind of searching for it but i did play at eight percent slider here with a plus ten percent elevation so this shot does play with a ten percent over adjustment at the slider of your club, which is usually around 10% of your slider. Do 
due to going into the water numerous times on one of my accounts with the hook shot, I abandoned it and I credit Peter Johnson with the safe shot. We're going to use our quarterback with five bars of top spin and five bars of left spin. You're going to have your blue ring pretty much halfway into the rough at the plus 15 yard mark. So basically at full max distance. And then you're going to over adjust your shot with a plus 10% elevation. Make sure you give it a left curl to where the outside of your ball is touching the inside of the ring. Due to the inconsistency of the bounce, you're going to have to just double check your slider position. At 346, I did play this at 76% slider with a plus 5% elevation. I did a no spin shot to the hole. Now you can actually go based off that yardage, plus or minus 2% per yard, but that was with a great left. The perfect might be different, so double check your yardage, but it does play at a plus 5% elevation. At 346 with a perfect ball, it does play at a 78% slider. So base your yardages and make your yardage chart based off of 346 at 78% with a plus 5% elevation and that should help you get your yardages that you might drive in the future. For hole 5, I am playing with a Grizzly and a Power 1 Wind Ball. You're going to do 2.5 backspin and 2.5 right spin. I am playing this 1 to 1 or 1 wind per ring. So here I'm putting half of my white ring into the rough and then I'm basically aiming my shot to the right edge of the cup. You're going to play it 1 to 1 and then what I found out by accident was using a tiny, tiny bit of right curl to where it's not even touching the line that much of a baby right curl so if you look at my shot there is a very slim um, amount of right curl and i have dropped it twice now by using right curl the pull angle i am also using is a 1201 pull angle favoring noon For hole six, you can use any driver of your choosing. You can do um, APOC, rock, whatever you would like. You're gonna play with a 10% over adjustment. You're gonna aim your ball guide down the center. Here I'm using about three to three and a half bars of top spin, full left spin, and then over adjust my shot with a 10% over adjustment. For the second shot, I still have not dropped the Spider Lady shot yet. So um, here I did try the Spider Lady shot where I did minus, I think, max distance um, with a 5% elevation and then minus 0.1 I think was the yardage I was at. But you do want to do about three bars of backspin with one left spin. What I might try in the future is Fenzel's way, which is on the 19th hole expert tournament page as well. His notes are there where he plays it at 82% slider, and then he plays it at a specific yardage mark based off of how far he drove his, drove his yardage down the fairway. And then he plays it with a plus 15% elevation. So it's up to you on which way you want to play it. I'm probably going to try that on the weekend as I have not been able to hit this albatross yet. For hole 7, Fenzel did hit this on his stream today. He is using a quarterback with one bar of top spin, and now what we changed is to one bar of right spin instead. It's still going to be a minus 5% elevation at maximum distance of your club, but what's also different is we're going to start at the plus 1 yard mark, and then your ball guide is going to be going down the hill and to the hole. So make sure you are at the plus 1 yard mark with the yellow ring near the rough, you're going to do one bar of top spin with one bar of right spin. You want to have an 1159 pull angle that is very important so the ball will go further and also try to hit perfect.
thank you to the clannables for this shot you're going to use your rock eight or nine with a rock eight you're going to use 3.2 top spin with max left spin if you have a rock nine you are only going to use three bars of top spin with max left spin your white rings are going to be touching both sides of the rough. You're going to over adjust your shot with a 10% over adjustment. And then you are going to use full, full curl for a rock eight and nine. Do not overpower your shot. And then you want to try and hit perfect. This sets us up for a sniper rough bump. You're going to basically be at max distance of your sniper. The spin will vary, but you want to spin your ball to the hole and going through the hole. Not as much as I did here. I did get a little lucky, but have your ball guy going through the hole a tad. Also, you want to make sure you aim to the right edge or the right of pin as well because the ball will kick to the left. And then you're gonna or you're gonna under adjust your shot with a minus 10% elevation. So it'll be max distance with a minus 10% elevation. For hole 9, I'm going to show you the APOC 5 and the APOC 6 slice. You're going to use a non-resistance wind ball. You're going to use full top spin with 4 bars of right spin. You're basically aiming at this tree where you see now, but with an APOC 5, you're going to aim a little bit to the right of the tree, not a lot, just like to the edge of the bush, bush part of the tree, and then you're going to do a full slice, full overpower shot. Based on the angle, I could have gone a little bit more right of the tree. For the second shot, I played with a minus 5% elevation. I was taking a guess, but I played at 30% of my slider, and I think it was more along the lines of 20% of my slider because I pulled too much, and it stopped just short of the hole. So you want your ball guide actually going through the hole if you're going to do this much backspin, which I should have done, but I do believe I just overpulled on this shot. But again, I played it at a minus 5% elevation, and it came in pretty well. For the APOC 6, I'm basically going to be using full top spin and four right spin. Some people are using three uh, right spin, it's up to you on how you want to do it, but I was trying out four right spin. I'm basically aiming for dead center of that tree. If you go and look at Peter Johnson's stream from this morning, you will see him explain some of the different wind angles, which I do not really know, so I just play from the center of the tree. Do a full slice uh, over power shot. This seems to be the spot that we keep landing in, even with um, other APOC slices as well. But here, um, just to let you know, it does play at a 0% elevation, and this plays at a 10% slider. Now, the only thing that you need to actually do is hit perfect in order to get in or set up for a great right or great left, whichever you are prone to hitting. Here, I basically am straight straightening out my ball guide with a little bit of backspin and some left spin to basically align myself with the wind. And then I adjusted it about one ring, which was about 10% of my slider. And then you have to hit perfect, which I just hit a great ball and it did come in great. So guys, try to hit perfect on hole nine if you are in the rough and it will be an easy albatross for you. <laughs> so anyway, guys, good luck this weekend. And remember, hit perfect. Happy golfing, guys.